In this video, we're going to be setting up our first effect. An effect is really good for isolating your side effects from your components. Back in our project here, inside the product list component we've been working in, all of this right here, we could remove this and put this within an effect file. And this will really clean up our components. And when we call this action the load product action, if we go back to our diagram, and that's right here. So when we call that load product action, we can kick off an effect. This effect uh, will talk to our service and our service is gonna work like normal, It'll deal with the back end, getting a list of products. And then if it's successful, it will kick off this success action from our effect instead of doing it from within our component. And that's what we'll be setting up. And if we go to the documentation and to use effects, we need to pull in this library, NGRX effects and uh, we need to install that. So let's get this installing, uh, click on installation. And then uh, we're running Angular 8, so this should be fine. So copy this, and then we'll just get this installing. So open up the command line, paste and install. Now that it's done installing, it made some changes to our project. And if we check that out, if we open up our main app module, you should see this right here added to to your imports. So it added a app effects file all as well. And we'll check that out in a second. And then you'll notice a difference here for root. Like it, we're gonna also create another um, file and it's gonna add it to our products module and then it's gonna be for feature. And I'll show you that in a second. And then right here, you can add a whole list of different effects. We only have one and that is this file right here. And this is automatically generated for us. So this is like where all our global effects will go. And now we're going to create another file, another effects file, and this is going to go inside of our products uh, folder. Let's close this down and we'll do this from the command line as well. And to do that, we'll need to go and install this library. And we already did this in a prior video, the NGRX schematics. We set this up like in video two or something like that. But if you don't already have this installed, you definitely want to install that. So click on installation and it's the same thing. You just run this command in the command line. If you don't run this command and you start running these commands that I'm going to show you in a second, you'll, you'll get an error like it doesn't recognize this. So uh, you definitely want to set this up. So after you get this installed and we already created a store and an action from, from the command line, now we're going to create an effect from the command line. So right here, you just want to copy this. And then also there's a whole list of flags you can use. We're only going to use two. We're going to use the spec. And I'm going to set that to false because they gave gave us one right down here. Uh, this effect spec. I'm going to set it to false so it doesn't generate another one within our store. And then also we'll use the module. And this will automatically configure it to our module. And then here we're going to be using the for feature within our project module. I'll show you that in a second. So we'll, we'll use these two flags. Let's go back to our project in the command line. I'll clear this out and just paste. So the, the effect name, you want to enter in the address and then the name. So it's in our products folder and inside the store. And um, then we'll call it product. So this will generate us a file called product.effects. And then we'll use our flags first as the spec, set that to false. So it won't generate us that file. And then the module we want to configure it to, and that's inside the products folder. And that's the products module module and then ts file and that's pretty much it that's the command you want to run it's going to prompt us for some boilerplate and i'll say yes to both okay so it created us our file and then I, it configured it to the module let's check that out real quick and open up the product products module and you should see it right here so it uh pulled in our products effects automatically for us within the array. And again, you can have a whole list of different effects and add all, add all of them in here just by doing you know this and then whatever the name of the other one is, but we only have one in this case. And then they're using the four features since this is like a sub uh, effect you know, within a subfolder. And that's pretty much it for configuring it. And then if we open up our, our file, I'll just uh, save this and shut this down our effect file within our store and this looks basically the same what we were checking out before and then here is where we're going to create our effect online they have really good examples if you're not quite familiar 
uh, on how creating how to create one, we could just go back here and then navigate back up to the NGRX effects, click on overview, and then on the right, click on writing effects. And they are they also have something like this within like the actions and the reducers. They have something called writing reducers, for example. Just click on that. And they, they give you really good examples to get you started. Like right here, this is basically what we're going to be setting up, something like this. And then also we'll be pulling in a service, and in our case it's called the product service. So we'll be setting that up as well. I'm just going to copy this, and then we'll have something to work off of. So copy this, and let's go back to our project. Side of our products effects, paste. And then it's going to be screaming at us for a while to take care of a bunch of errors. And uh, we'll just knock them out one by one. Uh, let's start at the top like this. Would be load products instead of movies. And then here we're using our create effect method. And that's being pulled in automatically for us. So that's good. And then the of type, that comes from um, NGRX effects. So we need to pull that in. And that should add it on up here. And then we need to pull in our operators from RxJS. So let's go pull them in. And your imports should look like this. And then here, this movie service doesn't exist. Uh, we're, we're using a product service. Let's pull that in. And that should get pulled in up here. And if you're just joining us, I'll just show you that real quick. If we open up our product service, and then in here we have a method get products, and this gets a list of products from the backend, and it returns an observable. So uh, that's what that looks like. So if I close this down, and now we can call that instead of calling this, we'll call that get products. So this get products, and I'll click on this and make sure I close it up correctly. Okay, and now that we have that taken care of. And it's going to be screaming at us for a while because we're not returning the right type and we'll take care of that pretty soon. Now right here, the of type and this filters out the action and you can enter in the action as a string like this. But what we'll do is we'll pull it in from our actions file and let's actually open that up. And we set this up in a prior video as well. And here's our three actions and we're filtering out for the load product. So that's the action we want to call. So let's import this action file. So let's close this down and import this file into our, our effects. So paste, and then we'll get all our actions from using the from product action. And I'll just replace this from action. And then we want to call the load products. That's what we're filtering for. And then if we're successful at getting the products from the back end, then in here, and again, this is another way of doing it. Like you can pass an action like this. But we're going to do it a little different. Uh, we're going to use it from our actions file. So products. Now we want to call from our products action file. And that's this. And then if we were successful. And that's our load product success. And, uh, and again, we need to pass in the payload, payload like we did before. And that's the products. Now it's going to be screaming at us because we need to return the right type right here as well. And we'll take care of that right now. So this is be error. And again, it's going to be from our from products action. But the only problem here is we need to return an observable. So we need to create an observable and we'll use the of like that. Then we go from products action like this. And then we call the failure. Pass in the payload. And that's the error. And make sure you close it up correctly like that. And that should take care of all the errors. And that's your, your effect. So now we need to go in and clean up our component. Let's open that up, product list component. And then now we could get rid of this whole section right here. And this is all being handled by our effect. So this is really going to clean up our code a lot better. And that looks better. So we can save this. And then there's one more change we want to make now. And that is from our actions file. And now we're not calling it from the product list anymore. We, we're calling it from the effect file. So I'll call it uh, product effect. And it's very important that we change this because when we're debugging later on, uh, we want to make sure we know where these actions are being called from and also change this one as well. And let's test this out. So save this 
and make sure you, you save this file as well. Let's restart the uh, application just to be safe. And I have that on this one right here, so I'll shut it down. Restart it and use npm run the dev if, you, if you're following along with the GitHub project. So dev. And back here in our application, everything should run pretty much the same. Our effect, our action names are going to be different though. So if we click on view all products, we just want to make sure we're not getting any errors. And then now we're calling the product list component load products right here. And then now from our effect, the load product success is being called. So that's great. And if we go back here, we should see a list of products still inside of our store. And then let's kick off the error just to make sure that error is working without a problem. If we go back here, and I did this in a prior video, I'm just gonna go into our service and just put some gibberish here, like test. So test like this, this should kick off an error, so save. And then if we go back to our application, that broke everything and that's good. And then now our uh, load products error is kicking in. And then if we look at our state, we should have an error in there and there's the error. Okay, very good. I'll go back and change that so I don't forget. And that's how you create an effect. And now in the next video, we're gonna be using NGRX entities and uh, we'll be setting that up, like downloading it and using that in the next video. So I'll see you then.